What's up, Buddhas? Today we're going to talk about something that just, well, it came to me. That is how to get in touch with your higher self. Literally those words. How do you touch your higher self? Hot tip, you can't. They touch you. Seriously. The emotions that you feel in your body, when you start to get in tune with listening to your body, this is not, again, this is not something that I would recommend you do like, hey, I just discovered spirituality, I'm gonna get in touch with my higher self, like now, boom. Might work, but like, I've been practicing this for a little while. Hey, kitty, got a visitor. How do you actually like get in touch with your guides, the, the peeps that are hanging out with you because you ain't alone. And I discovered a trick for me. Now the physical thing that I'm gonna share with you is not important. What is important though, is the process of understanding the impact that doing this physical action is. Now, I'm gonna get up, I'm gonna get that thing and I'll be right back because unfortunately it's not the kitty, but he's very close. Right, you go right there. And we're back. This is the thing that gets me in touch with my higher self. Oh, I can already feel it. It's amazing. So I've made an entire video about learning to solve a Rubik's Cube. And you can come back up here. <clears throat> that was just temporary. I made an entire video about learning how to solve a Rubik's Cube. No? Okay. Kitty's gonna do what Kitty's gonna do. That's how it is. And I was kind of getting on to this, but I didn't totally understand what was happening. This is how it works for me. I'm not saying this is how it works for you, and I'm not saying this is not how it could work for you, but this is me. When I don't like something, or when something, let's call it, doesn't resonate, something I'm not interested in doing, I feel this like almost tightness of this blockage in the front of my chest. And if I ignore that and I continue to go down those realms, it goes down through my chakras and it goes into my like solar plexus, something rather, and it kind of like wells up into this real negativity, this like punch in the gut feeling. Again, it starts up here and it goes down. So I have the opportunity to recognize it and to not let it go down and to fester. But if it does, it does. And there have been some consequences in my life for that, I can assure you. And uh, we're working up the confidence in order to make that video. What I feel when I'm in tune is like this energy coming in through my shoulder blades, through the back of my body. And it's just like this, it lifts me up almost. It feels like Red Bull. It feels like gives you wings a little bit. Like that's the kind of idea, the angel wings is what I call them. And no, they don't physically pop out of my chest. It doesn't feel like the energy is coming out of me, but it just feels like there's this energy coming into me at the top upper of my back and it's very joyous. I love it. I live for it, honestly. Um, playing with a Rubik's Cube, solving a Rubik's Cube, hello kid, triggers that. And I just realized that this morning. I'm gonna go out on a limb here and I'm gonna state that I don't know how to solve a Rubik's Cube. What I do know how to do though, is to admit that and to allow that higher entity, that higher beingness of love, who I'm starting to do this now and I can feel them in my back. I can feel that they're here and they're the ones that are joyously going through the motions of what needs to happen and translating that into thought forms of an understanding that I have in my own head about how solving a Rubik's Cube works and then that translates into the world of real work. Okay, I got aside. Now, this video is not about how to solve a Rubik's Cube. This is just a trigger, right? And this is one of those things that's a fun thing to do that has absolutely no negative consequences as far as I can tell. If you can think of a negative consequence of solving a Rubik's Cube, comment down below, let me know. But before you do that, subscribe, hit the like button, all the usual things, bell notifications so that you get all the excellent videos that we are putting out. But if you have a thing in your life that you enjoy doing and it kind of feels good to do it, just freaking do it. 
Like, honest to goodness, why are we so caught up in having to make things complicated? This feels, the word that comes to mind is euphoric. Like, I'm multitasking right now and I can actually kind of feel the split in my body and mind about how I'm explaining what's going on while I'm working on this cube and also how I'm acknowledging and still feeling and recognizing, but it's feeling a little less specific, although now we're about to finish and it's getting very excited. That connection in my back, that upper back connection about doing this. And okay, I just finished and I kind of feel that little like glee. They're like, yay, we did it. And find it. For me, it's a Rubik's Cube. It doesn't have to be a Rubik's Cube for you, but I think this is where people start like enjoying sports. Like I, I, when I play this specific game, I really get in the zone and the flow and I love that. This puts me in flow in like three seconds. That's what flow is. That's what's coming through is your understanding that your body is a vessel for a, great, a greater intelligence to come in. And even using the word greater seems to be a bit of a dis, disservice to it because you are not any less than your higher self because you are your higher self. It's coming through you. Your main base personality, your, your set point, your every day is just what you're used to. So pop it up a notch. Doing this kind of stuff makes me feel good. So I'm going to keep doing it and doing it and doing it and, and enjoy that and milk every sensation that I possibly can out of it so that I can learn what it means and I can learn how it comes through and I can learn how to channel what's going on in my life because at the end of the day, prove to me that it's not working that way. You can't. So it's got to be a possibility and it's got to be something that's going on. So find that thing that makes you feel damn good. And hopefully it's not anything that hurts anyone else because ultimately that's not what I'm interested in. Maybe some people are, but I'd like to think that those people are a little broken. Before we get off onto too much of a rant about broken people, Comment down below what your thing is. If it's Rubik's Cubes, let's go. Let's see some people solving Rubik's Cubes on the YouTube. I mean, no one's ever made that video before. And uh, have a great freaking day, Buddhas. Remember, love yourself. Peace.